shake it off. I can cut this out. Relax, relax, relax. Okay. Aries reading. This will be your July reading. Um, you can have Aries really anywhere. Okay, so for this, I'm thinking like Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, any prominent Aries placement in your chart that you generally or currently strongly resonate with. Um, it could also just be like, I don't know, you're thinking, focusing on, I mean, Mars is in its last degree of Aries right now. Like, as I speak, it's leading. So, there's that. All right. And I did originally want to do this, like, group elements. Um, and I was going to start with fire signs because I was, I don't know, wanted to. And Aries is like, no, I want to go first. Aries want to go first so bad because I just could not get Aries out of my head. And um, it's just funny. Uh, so I'm like, okay, let's do Aries. And I've been thinking about it for a few days. I've like been kind of trying to get myself to do it. I almost did it last night and then didn't because I got, I was like, oh, let me go turn my fan off and then never came back. Um, so there is that. And now that I finally just so happen to have the time and energy to sit down and do Aries. It's July 4th. Um, it is, I don't know what time it is. 3.41, although 3.13 could be significant. Um, so yeah, here we go, Aries. So I did get a couple little messages here that I wanted to share. Um, this is like kind of over the past few days, what's been sounding like seems significant, right? So first of all, um, your grandfather, something about your grandfather, right? Um, and then I've got some songs, so Powder by Now Now. And then as I was getting, um, pulled a couple cards beforehand, uh, I played, well, what came on shuffle was Cold by Rico Nasty. And the Emperor card, had, card has been significant, and there's a line on Cold, uh, Ego Big, I'm so important. So I think this is, um, talk about like it's time for you to like have the self focus and maybe even like. A little bit of the cockiness um yeah so also I have stage fright here because I was getting real nervous to do this uh, boxes let's see oh yeah fourth of July um I was thinking like haha explosive right so this could just be like you live somewhere where there's a shit ton of fireworks and it's just to the point where it freaks you out or this could be like a metaphor like something explosive is like you're thinking about that happening or it might happen um because right now mercury is also sextile mars so i'm thinking of that as like mars wants to speak up mercury mercury wants to take action so this could be you or someone else wants to have like a conversation um probably more likely passionate rather than like aggressive um but there's like i don't know there's a, something that's been thought about that is ready to come out right um all right weather today it is i wrote warm like in an oven uh because that's how it feels it's like not super hot but i don't know it's like 70 80 which isn't bad for here but there's clouds so it feels like i'm in an oven i want to turn my fan on but i didn't like the sound of it so um orange could be significant uh let's see Oh, and then like uh, romantic relationships, you could be thinking about past ones. Um, depending on like, you know, look at your transits. This could be just like thinking. This could be like something from the past. Maybe wants to return. Um, or why say that? I didn't mean that. Um, or like just something romantic is approaching your life right now. Um, or you're just really strongly thinking about it. So, Aries, let's get into the cards now. So first I got success and death here. And oh my God, I wish I would have wrote it down. Um, what I had thought immediately. But it was something about like, you're finally changing, maybe you're changing your mindset on success or you're finally like, I can have success. Like I can, you know, succeed in the things I want. And maybe there's like a mindset that's ending that kind of prevented that. Um, this could be you, maybe you'll find success in ending something, potentially. And then we also have movement and determination. So like there is definitely like that 
are the Aries I'm thinking right now is like the real go-getter like or like the very confident like I know what I'm doing I know exactly what to do and I'm gonna do it and nobody's gonna get in my fucking way so very determined right now Aries so we're gonna pull some tarot and see what's what's going on what's going on Aries it's so hot in here it is hot I've been trying to do the dolphin. Um, I was like doing it last night and I'm like, if I could just get it, I'm going to be, a, I'm already upset. I don't know, or the fountain, I know, I think some people call it, but yeah, it kind of looks like dolphins though, doesn't it? Let's do it one more time, just for fun. Just for fun. Oh, and I try to like be fun today. I don't really try, it's just like what I wanted to do, so have fun with it. Got a little bit everywhere, but I think we're ready, ready, ready to go. I panic at the disco. All right, all right. What's going on? Okay, that was fast. Page of Wands, Aries. Yeah, there's like something that you. It's something that you haven't done before, and whether you've been thinking about it or like wanting to do it at some point, um, or I don't. Know. It does seem like something that's been like kind of around, but let's see. Yeah, I feel like you finally feel like you have what you need. Like I think more in the um, like you feel like you have more what you need internally. Like you're at a more like maybe balanced emotional mental state. Uh, like you feel like you're ready to take on something. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So these all kind of came out everywhere, but we have some interesting things going on here. Okay, I feel like for one, other people could be revealing themselves to you. Uh, this could be, like I was talking about earlier, like Mercury and Mars. Um, or somebody wants to say something. Or maybe it's just like the truth about something may come out. And it's not like, I'm like getting nervous, like... There's something that somebody may be nervous about you finding out about. I'm just thinking with like the moon reverse and then the three cups reverse. This could also just be you like realizing like what doesn't bring you joy and like getting that out of it. That's like that's one of the things that's in the way and you're like out of here. But then I also have the queen of cups and the king of cups a pair. Queen upright and the king reverse. So that's where I'm like I'm thinking like in your kind of feminine type energy, <clears throat> which is interesting because the emperor was coming up and very like masculine, right? I feel like I really think it's new for you to take action on things, whether it's generally or just like this thing specifically. Like you're feeling in this state where like you're ready to release all the baggage and do something. But I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of a little bit of fear but not really I feel like it's more I don't know like emotional excitement too let's get some more here Aries what's, what's this about what is Aries so yeah this is like a oh my god the sun the sun a new project like this is um yeah something you've been really Thinking about planning for, yeah, you've been planning for something. Like, I feel like this is like, you've already kind of set the plan in motion. This isn't like a, a like super new thing. Um, but yeah, it's like, I feel like when it's this hand coming out, I feel like it's you to you. And not necessarily like something or someone else. It's like, here, you're ready to have this. And then you take it and then you, you know, work with it, do what you're supposed to do with it. And then the success comes, right? Like, yeah, there's still more like work that has to be put in, but like, that's what you're ready to do here. Like, you know, you probably know that like, okay, yeah, it's, it's time to crack down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, broth. Um, I 
it's funny I just thought I was getting stuck looking at this it's the wheel of fortune and the nine of wands reverse but I don't think that's happening anymore I feel like you finally I feel like I was just gonna say I feel like if there's any like stuckness it's just back to the mindset here that you're putting it into if yeah again if it's like a fear of success or like you'll feel guilty if you're successful something like that where and then this could be the thing that's coming out that like kind of really fully shifts out like you've been trying like working through that mindset and there's just been like one thing that you think you haven't been sure of and then it is revealed and you're like okay yeah i know you know like when somebody's thinking about doing something oh my god like creating something and then they find out that somebody doesn't think that they are capable of doing it or tells them they aren't capable of doing it they're like you know what actually fuck you and then they do it and it's like awesome um <clears throat> something like that okay Aries okay we got all of the queens except the queen of wands so far yeah back to this is new um <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is just back, you know, Queen of Swords, Reverse and the Magician, back to like, ah, uh, there was just one thing here. And as soon as it's said or figured out, it's like, okay, it's it's go time. Yeah. Definitely like, <clears throat> it's like a mindset change that's like, puts you into a pattern. Like, for example, if the pattern before was like, not ever doing anything like always self-sabotaging maybe or just like honestly just straight up being lazy it's like finally putting it into that all right just really really good aries well, let's get some advice for you here i guess this is gonna be short short and sweet you want to go first so bad it's gonna be over a little faster so yeah don't like burn out you know um <clears throat> like um okay i'll say this so i was wanting to do like chores around the house like catch up honestly and last night i was like i made like i have a list for myself like throughout the week so last night i started doing like you know the yesterday's part of the list and i'm like in the zone like oh, you know what i could just like crank through this i could just like do this real fast clean everything up like I'm in the zone I'm in the mode but I was like no I had to stop myself I was like obviously it would be a good thing to clean but I was like you know what if I crank this all out right away I'm not gonna create this habit um which is what I'm trying to do here like get in the habit of regularly you know cleaning um if I just do this all at once then it's just gonna be like every other time where I just did it all at once and then it becomes a thing where it's like, oh, just do it, you know, a bigger thing to want to do it all at once. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, if it's like discipline, discipline, uh, that's what I was thinking. And you have discipline here. And it's more about like, you know, because <sighs> discipline can sound like an in, inherently negative word especially like when your whole life discipline has been really bad instead of like a learning experience like it should be um you know for at least for people. i just like doing that it's fun um and it's like you need to <clears throat> i don't know and part of it is like don't do all of this at once it's, it's really like you need to set up like the, the pattern here. Like you're ending a pattern and now you're like creating a new pattern, right? It's like death. In death, there's a rebirth. So you're putting it into one cycle, one pattern and creating a new one. So it's like maybe that's been the problem here is that you've been trying to end this pattern, but you haven't had like 
something else to go into, you know? And now you're like creating that thing to go into. And now you can like, you're finally working your way out of this. All right, any, did I ask for advice? Was it? Oh, advice for Aries. Any advice for Aries? Why? <clears throat> Why are y'all reversed? Mm. Okay. All right. So really here is like, I don't know, through this mindset shift, there's like a part of it is letting your guard down here, right? Or like that letting your guard down could be like finally, you know, quit fighting for these negative patterns you have. Like when you choose to like keep engaging in them so strongly, that's like, you're kind of fighting to keep them. And there's like kind of a, I don't want to say a loss necessarily here. Um, I mean, it is a shift, but mm, I don't know, like maybe feeling like, so, you know, you're coming out of this and like, maybe you're seeing like that you're coming out and you're going into this new pattern. Or like you can't quite see it yet. Like there's maybe like one more block or maybe there's just like a dip and you're going to like kind of fly over or whatever, but you can't see. Or there's just like a hill and you can't see over the hill. Um, so there's a little bit of like, is this like really going to go all the way through though? Like, you know, I'm coming out of this. Am I going to crash and burn? Um, it's like, I think there's just a need to keep a positive mindset here. And I saw some... I don't know, people talk about being delusional. It's like, oh, how are you so happy or like, you know, optimistic. It's like, I'm delusional. <laughs> it's like, there's maybe a need for, I mean, oh, a little spider. Oh my God, I haven't seen a spider here so long. Um, okay. <laughs> That's the spiders, you know. Um, I read something where it's like, the way you react to them uh, symbolizes how you react to life. And if like, you freak the fuck out when you see one, it's like, you're like, you're reactive and it's more out of fear. Reaction. Oh my God. What the, there was something. Oh, it was a lyric in that song powder. This might be unrelated, but, um, let me find it. I saw it. But yeah. And then like, if you're, you know, more chill with the spider, basically like you, um, have more like self-control or like you feel you're more in control of your life. Something like that. What was the lyric in here though? Powder, no, no. Mm. If you need a reaction, baby, I'm a good distraction. That's what it was. Oh, so maybe that's another thing is that you might try to distract yourself with something here that didn't previously work out maybe. Um, or something that like you know isn't good for you. Oh, maybe the boxes. And it's like you're trying to like take this with you but you can't take it with you into this new thing like that's one of the things that's got to like you know fall out of the I don't know the freaking car otherwise it's not going to be light enough to go jump the thing I don't know but um something like that but like whatever this thing is it's like it's not made, like this could be something in the past yeah like a relationship in the past where you're like oh maybe this is like gonna end up being a part of this new pattern and it's like it's not it's not supposed to be otherwise like if you keep it you're gonna like go in the same pattern because you know with like people and relationships sometimes a lot I think honestly I think most of the time when like a certain dynamic is set in the relationship um it's like you can't change that dynamic unless both of you work like actively really hard and you know communicate go through everything and both people are committed to having a healthy dynamic, you know, if that doesn't happen, then, you know, once a dynamic is set, it's gonna, I think it's gonna stick. And with this relationship or thing here, there's not that conversation being had. And this conversation we were talking about earlier, I don't think it's this. I don't think this has really, it's not supposed to have anything to do with this. 
we don't need this you know let it come up be like okay later and let that shit go all right there's the emperor there you are underneath the king of pentacles reversed this is again like the kings that have been coming out which was just the two but um they're both reversed something about like I don't know, I think you're just like testing out your like masculine energy or like really using it. Don't, yeah, exactly. Don't go overboard um, when you're like pushing things off your path. Make sure you're like doing it with grace and you know, if it's something that you don't want to break, move it gently. So yeah. And then as always, have faith, all right? All right, be positive. You don't have to lose your... Uh, feminine energy or compromise it um to let this masculine step up but just stepping up so you they could work together right all right all right Aries that is your reading for July I hope you enjoyed it or it helps or made anything click at all and I don't know if you celebrate enjoy I mean enjoy the fireworks regardless and if you don't stay safe um yeah whatever bye Aries <laughs>